it's an issue for us all. So I thank you again for your leadership there. Tenakui. I call Alistair Scott. Thank you, Madam Chair. It is a pleasure to be speaking on the estimates in the primary sector part of the debate. Um, Minister, I'd like to uh, correct you, I think, uh, to say when I say that Julian Rain, while she's a dairy farmer, she is not the dairy rep. There is no dairy representative. She's he, actually there he, as the chairman of Horticulture he, New Zealand. He, he. So I back up what Tim Vandermullen said, that there is no he. dairy representative uh, on the council. Um, second point I'd like to make is to quote back um, Kiritapu Allen's words, and I hope I get this right, Miss Allen, when she said, uh, what's good for the uh, primary sector is good for the regions, and what is good for the regions is good for New Zealand. I could not agree with her more, and I invite her to come over and support the regions and support the primary sector and come and sit on this side of the House, because that is what we do here. That is what we do here. Unfortunately, Ms Allen, your policies on that side of the House do not support the primary sector and they do not support the regions. And we've already traversed uh, water storage, we've talked about uh, bringing agriculture into the ETS and I could talk about regional rural ta field tax and so on. So don't tell me that the government supports regional New Zealand. You cannot tell me that the government supports primary sector production. I want to talk about, well, you can say, say it all you like, but it doesn't make it true, Mr McAnulty. And so I turn to forestry, and much can be said about the Minister of Forestry. He talks a big story, but has delivered virtually nothing, That's right. nothing whatsoever. He might look good in a high-vis vest, but delivery is the problem. Now I'd like to get into the um, Select Committee report, if I can, Madam Chair when uh, we talked about one billion trees in 10 years. One billion trees. Well, half of them are, will already be planted through the replantation of existing forests without any interruption or interference or support from any government. So we're only talking half a billion trees. There, there's some good things that planting trees will achieve. It'll, and to quote, provide climate benefits and help the government meet its carbon obligations, that was mentioned. Increase employment in rural areas, and growing rural economies. But I ask the question is, how? How, are you, how is the government going to do that? It also talks about reducing alpine and coastal erosion through soil consolidation and catchment. But how is that going to be implemented? What is the real underlying actions that are going to deliver these uh, goals and objective, objectives? And of course, increasing the economic return on land. Well, very laudable goals and aspirations, but there's nothing in here, Madam Chair, that tells me how the government is going to do it. Now, there's three problems that the government faces in forestry. We don't know where the seedlings are going to come from. We don't know what land is available. Where is the land that all these trees are going to be planted on? And most importantly, who is going to be planting these trees? And I ask the minister, if he can help me out here, are we going to loosen up immigration policy to allow trees to be planted? Are we going to loosen up immigration? And it's not just forestry in the primary sector, as he knows. We're, we're short of people in the dairy sector to milk the cows. We're short of people in the apiary, the, the beehive industry. We're short of truck drivers. Can you believe it? We are short of truck drivers. I had a guy in the office the other, other day pleading, can we loosen up immigration? because we need people in the regions. We need the work to be done. So, Minister, please advocate and talk uh, with your colleagues to suggest, and particularly Mr Lise Galloway, that there is work to be done in the regions and we need to support the regions by uh, allowing people to come into the work. Because I tell you what, the nephews aren't going to do it. The nephews aren't going to cut the mustard. There are loads of people. The big problem in the forestry sector is the failing of drug tests. It's a, it's a fact. Go out and ask, ask the foresters, Ms Martin. Ask what their main problem is. It is finding clean workers. Clean workers. So I invite the minister to come with me to the forestry sector and talk to the people to, who find it difficult to find appropriately clean workers in the sector. And it is a real problem. 
And there should be no tolerance. There should be zero tolerance. And that is the standard that the forestry sector, I'm sure, will uh, keep and maintain. Thank you. The question is that vote agriculture, biosecurity,